Okay, going live in three, two, one. Hopefully, no interruptions again. And welcome to another beautiful Wednesday morning here at the tower. We're checking out Banshee's 44 inventory because today is Arms Day. I like my intro from the one before better. <laughs> anyway, here we are at the tower. Arms Day for uh, Arms Day loadout. <clears throat> it's finally week five. Let's see what Benji has for us today. <clears throat> Not a moment too soon. All right, first up we have the Gahersha D hand cannon. Let's check out rank one. Let's take a quick glance at the perks. We got true sights, sure shot, crowd control, feeding frenzy, snapshot, armor piercing, and oil frame. Armor piercing, feeding frenzy, crowd control. This would be a pretty decent PvE player versus everyone or environment, whichever one you prefer the acronym. This would be good for strikes and story missions, just because of crowd control, fading frenzy, how oil frame, get that quick reload, but you lose the range. I like armor piercing because it increases the range. All right. Let's check out rank two. We got true sights, steady hand. We got surrounded, final round, not bad. Snapshot, high caliber rounds, reinforced barrel. This could be a real beast in PvP in the Crucible. We get the high caliber rounds for stagger. You get the increased range if you want to go that option. Final round and surrounded. Hell is shit. This is a PvP gun if I haven't seen any. Let's see a third one. Fast draw, steady hand, surrounded, zen moment, snapshot, armor piercing, and oil frame. Not bad, but I like. I really like rank 2 for for Crucible, but rank 1's also good for PvE. Hell, this is a first. Two guns I highly recommend. <laughs> rank 1 if you want to do PvP, rank 2 if you want to do PvE. Did I say this one PvP? Huh, oh, my bad. PvE, and this one's for the Crucible. Rank 2's Crucible. Highly pick that one. Is this the hard pronounced one? Yeah, the Kumatak. Let's see. Fast draw, quick draw, sure shot. Zen moment with single point sling. Brace frame, not bad. Life support, eye of the storm. There's no need for Zen moment if you got brace frame. Again, another one with with a stability and accuracy. Hmm. Not looking good for this freaking hand cannon. Fast draw, steady hand, true sights, army of one, extended injection mold, Icarus, eye of the storm. This would make like a, not even a decent PVE. Mm. There's two good guns in the last one. This was quite fast draw, quick draw, true sights, mulligan, lightweight, injection mold, Icarus, danger close. You really don't want anything to reduce the range on the hand cannon. That takes out the lethality of it. Man, this HC4, none of them are good picks. Either pick one for infusion to get them up to 320 on a weapon, scrap it for the legendary marks and weapon parts. Uh, I wouldn't recommend none of these. Hold on to the order or just pick and scrap. Now, there's two of them with the freaking Icarus. Alright, 
back to one of my favorites, the Searles line. And this one's the DS-43 Scout Rifle. Let's check out rank 1. And we always look for the good sights. You know, the one I always love. My One of my favorites is the SPO-28. You see, this one comes with the SLO-19, SPO-26, and the SRO-37. This one comes with high caliber rounds or feather mag with rangefinder, snapshot, and rifle barrel. Yeah, rifle barrel. Mm hmm. Who let you in here? Huh? Yeah, I'm making my YouTube video, little one. You guys are wondering, my nephew just walked in. Yes? <laughs> I like this one because he can't talk back yet. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. Alright, rank 2. We got SLO 19, SPO 26, or the SPO 57. Ah, this one comes with perfect balance, appendage magazine, unflinching, snapshot, and injection mold. Hmm. Perfect balance, unflinching, injection mold, you gain a lot of stability, you may get an, a reduction in range, but this thing is a beast, or any scout rifle is a beast. But with this one, perfect balance, unflinching, injection mold, and if you throw on the SPO 57, get that threat evaluation, uh, threat evaluation up and going. I'm really liking rank 2, but let's check out rank 3 before I make the final decision. SLO 19, SPO 26, SPO 57. We got Hammer Forge, Feather Mag, Range Finder, Snapshot, and Reinforced Barrel. That reduction in stability. Well, definitely pick rank 2 for the Searles DSi 43. It has stability, you may take a reduction in range, but it's perfect for either PvE or PvP in the Crucible. And I really like the unflinching on it, because apparently, scout rifles and shotguns is the meta. Alright, okay. let's do a quick transition to the Titan. For the last two weapons, and I believe it's the Herja G, or the Herja D in the... Strongbow D shotgun. Herge is the pulse rifle. Anywho, let's take this moment while we're transitioning to the character to the tower. Check out the last weapons for Banshee. And I just like to say I really appreciate everybody that watches my videos. I seen comments. I don't like it. <laughs> Just want to say thank you. Because of people like you that watch this, <laughs> it gives me the motivation to keep on going. So I really appreciate every single one of you guys. If you guys want weapon reviews, weapon sites reviews, or little tidbits and information that I know and like share with a bunch of people, but I have to make time to make those videos. But anyway, here we are back at the tower. Let's check out those last two weapon orders. Alright, first up we got the Herja D. Hmm. Let's see, we got the GA post sites with the LB assaults. Last resort, unflinching, snapshot, fitted stock, 
Injection mold. Not bad. Not bad. That's below decent, but. I don't think she's a good one, but last resort, not so much. Because you want to be at range with a pulse rifle. If someone comes in close with an auto, you're 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 gonna you're beat every time. Not like you used to. They need to bring the damage up like a, by another four percent. Because I swear pulse rifles have to do more damage than an auto. All right. Rank 2, we got GB Iron with the LB Assault, Glass Half Full, Rodeo, Single Point Sling, Fitted Stock, and Injection Mold. And that has the extra damage, but you have to weigh half the magazine. Anything to reduce the kick on the Herja D Pulse Rifle, or any of the four Burst Pulse Rifles is a good thing. I wish there was more stability options like brace frame, small bore. I always see fitted and injection mold. I never, I haven't seen one with brace frame or small bore. I want to see how that works. Well, this one's okay, but kind of iffy. Let that <laughs> grind in the back of my mind. Let's see. GP Irons, SD Thermal, not bad, Danger Close, Feeding Frenzy, Snapshot, Fitted Stock, Oil Frame. Wow. I, I was having high hopes with the Herja D this week, but no. None of these are freaking decent. There's no... S oh, I'm gonna... I forgot the word, but symmetry. There's no sequence like this perk will help this perk with this perk there's none of that here so I will pass just pick one for infusion or dismantle for parts and legendary marks let's see we got the strong bow ooh that one has last round final round all right smooth ballistics field choke final round feeding frenzy single point sling fitted stock Rifle Barrel. Not bad. We got the Rifle Barrel, Fitting Frenzy, and Final Round. This could be a contender, but it's no Matador. But it may give you a chance. I really like the Rank 1. Rank 2. CQB, Linear Compensator, Surrounded, Need Pad, Single Point Sling, Fitted Stock, Hand Light Stock. You don't want. <laughs> Never reduce the range on a shotgun. Seriously, it looks like it reduces it to two or one with hand light stock. That's on that one. Smooth ballistics, aggressive ballistics. Okay, we got crowd control, knee pad, single point sling, hand loaded, and hand light stock. No, 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 no. Definitely go for rank one on the strong bow D. Alright, test weapons. We got an auto rifle using the crucible, fusion rifle to use in the crucible, hand cannon to make double kills, precision shots with a hand cannon, and a pulse rifle to use against the Vex. Alright. Let's check out the orders for next week. We got the Thizian RF4 Fusion Rifle from Amalon. Uh, well, once again, we got the Herja D Pulse Rifle. Hopefully, you save the one from this week, and you can probably use it for next week. And again, we got the Lumia D Pulse Rifle. Not bad. We got the Serials JLB42 Rocket. And we have the Enrine RR4 Sniper Rifle from Amalon for next week. Not bad. I'm hoping they have good perks for the pulse rifles. But anyway, thanks for watching. See you guys next Arms Day loadout. And remember, eyes up, Guardian.